good morning it is december 22nd today and it is Jakob's birthday um so we need to get ready for that esther has had i think maybe three meltdowns so far it's around eight o'clock and yeah it's gonna be an interesting day today actually Jakob and i talked about just a couple of days ago how we just need to or we should just get her i don't know four pair of the same tights that we know she wants to wear four pair maybe more than four five pairs of the same uh socks that we know she wants to wear three pairs of the same pants three pairs of not three pairs three shirts three dresses just in different colors but the same kind oh um because we have continuous problems every morning with her trying out clothes, not liking it because of whatever. It's too tight. It's too tight around the belly. She doesn't like the way it fits on the foot. Um, just on and on and on. And we are all going nuts, including her, by the way. So I really am honestly thinking about just finding that one pair. Of, she has one pair of tights and maybe just get three more pair, three more of the same tights same with the socks though I would say we can't find any, any socks that she wants to wear really so I'm just getting so annoyed really I can feel like I don't know like when you anticipate something I'm not I'm not anticipating that you know struggle with getting her to wear something yeah so that's that it's gonna be a nice day I think we are gonna decorate for Jakob and um Esther's really looking forward she wants to make like a um gift trail not that we have that many i think we have two gifts for him but where she has to find like follow a piece of thread to his gifts we did that for her and she loved that so she wants to do that with him but first i think i just need to clean up all this mess we have two laundry i don't know what they call that things that you dried clothing uh, clothing on um yeah um I need to get that sorted and just clean it up a bit, a bit, a little bit. Knick pots? Can you also knick pot? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna give them a little bit to you now, and then I'm gonna clean up, and then we're gonna get ready for Jakob.
I just found, um, I was looking through my stash to find black yarn for the leopard that I'm making for Esther. Um, as I was talking about how, yeah, I just needed or wanted something else or another black yarn for, to embroider the face on because that let low pee, um, just was too fluffy. So, but I found this, which is, believe it or not, this is my first sweater project, <laughs> which I think I began knitting this after I had knitted maybe a pair of wrist warmers. I think that was some of my first projects. So this is maybe my second, maybe third, excuse me. Sorry, I just had to cough there. So yeah, I think this may be my third knitting project ever. <laughs> I'm just, I didn't know anything about gauge. I didn't know anything about, you know, thin, thick yarn. I mean, I didn't know anything about, you know, yarn weight or any of that. And this is a Mayenne Isa pattern. I think it's called Sun or Suns. It's like from one of her knitting books that was inspired by Japan. And I can't believe that I knit this. It is on tiny needles i don't know is it has this been on maybe 2.5 and look how even it is i'm actually quite surprised but i gave up because i measured it at this point and it didn't fit it was supp supposed to be an oversized um i think this is the front an oversized sweater um yeah and then i done like color work like i don't know who was i back then like <laughs> I would never do this today, knowing myself and my patience. Um, and as you can see, it's not, it's way too tight. So I think that's why I ended up cutting it out, like opening it up by cutting all this yarn. Um, and then I've been weaving in the ends here. Oh my God, this was so much work and it took so long. Um, and yet I continued knitting after this, which is impressive. So, I mean... Yeah, look how even it is. It's quite even. I'm actually really proud of my early knitting self for doing this. Um, yeah, but anyway, I think I'm going to use some of this yarn. Actually, it's not completely black, is it? I think there are some specks in there of blue and greens. Hmm. Maybe I need to find something else after all. So, yeah, and I think, remember the yarn is Knit Picks uh, wool yarn. I can't remember which one. Anton and I just arrived at Ikea um, because we need to go get some gift cards for Jakob's nieces and nephews. And uh, also Anton took a very late nap. So I really wanted to bring him here so that he can probably like, hopefully run around <laughs> and get really tired so he doesn't um, go to bed too late tonight. Jakob was supposed to do this, but he forgot, and I said, you know, it's fine, I can bring it, because I really wanted to go here anyway with uh, Anton. 
so he's yawning in the back so maybe he's more tired than i thought but um yeah so that's the plan right now If you want a quiet day in Ikea, then you need to go a couple of days before Christmas. There is hardly anyone here. It's lovely. <laughs> we have plenty of space for running around. I just came um, or re-emerged from getting the kids to sleep, which is why I look the way I do. <laughs> well, I always look like this, don't I? But um, I just wanted to sort of end the vlog because I have actually had the the rest of the vlog ready to go. I just wanted to do like a bit of like a round off, I guess. So today is December. 27th and we've had a sick uh, Anton has been sick he um, got a fever in the morning on the 24th so he's been sick all Christmas um, and he's had quite a high fever for for three days um, it's better this evening but he's still not completely back to himself um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna add this at the end of the vlog. So what you've seen is mostly um, December 22nd, which was Jakob's birthday. I think I did a bit of footage on the 23rd and I don't think I did any really on the 24th, which is we celebrate on the evening of the 24th. That's sort of our Christmas here in Denmark. But yeah, um, 
thank you so much for watching and following along uh, i hope you enjoyed i i think i i had an idea of that this vlog would be more christmasy but you know things happen and life happens so um yeah i hope you enjoyed anyway <laughs> and also another thing um can you tell me if there is any adverts is there any advertisements when you watch my vlogs or podcasts for that matter because i have specifically turned off that feature of like i don't want i'm not getting any money out of doing these vlogs on youtube um so yeah but i think i've heard other people other podcasters talk about that youtube has now started to add the adverts anyway <laughs> um Yeah, so let me know. Have you seen any advertisements on my vlogs? Then I would be really happy to hear to know about it. Because then I would, I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into that to see if I can do something about it. Um, and again, thank you to Patreon or people who are supporting me on Patreon. Um, yeah, they're really the reason that I feel like I can do this and that I can use and spend time on this because I can sort of justify that I do get a little bit of financial support uh, on Patreon so thank you so much for for supporting me there and yeah I'm gonna sign off now and I hope you are um, or will have a lovely peaceful end of 2022 and I will um do a podcast that will be on patreon this month but i'll add that um in january so you if you want you can you can see that uh sometime in january bye